top news headlines. India reports 37,566 new COVID-19 infections, 907 deaths in last 24 hours. LMG Manipur continues its magnanimous service, extends financial help, relief items to family of tractor mishap victim. COSIM advises all principals of higher secondary schools to promote class 11 students. A very good evening and welcome to Mummy TV Primetime English News. This is Masako Ningthaujim giving you the latest news updates. India reported 37,566 new COVID-19 infections in the last 24 hours, taking the country's total case load to 3 crore 3 lakh 16,897. However, India's active case load has declined to 5 lakh 52,659. India is the second country after the United States to record more than 3 crore COVID-19 cases, adding 1 crore cases in the past 50 days. As many as 907 people died, taking the total death toll to 397,637. With 56,994 patients recovering in the last 24 hours, total recoveries across the country has now reached 2 crore 93 lakh 66,601. Daily recoveries continue to outnumber the daily new cases for the 47th consecutive day. The recovery rate has increased to 96.87%, the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare said in an official statement today. As many as 32 crore 90 lakh 29,510 vaccine doses have been administered so far in the country, including 52 lakh 76,457 in the last 24 hours under the nationwide vaccination drive. Like-minded group LMG Manipur has announced that they will bear responsibility for the two children of Ningthaujam Degen Singh till they complete class 12. Ningthaujam Degen Singh of Kangabok Laishram Lekai died in a tragic mishap that happened yesterday when he was crushed by a tractor at Wangbal Paddy Field. In a press note issued by Publicity Secretary of LMG Manipur, Rakesh Nauram said, a team of LMG volunteers led by advisor to LMG Manipur, Modusudam, visited the house of Digen at Kangabom, Kangabok Laishram Lekai to extend monetary help of Rs 15,000 and other essential items to the family. Rakesh Nauram, Financial Secretary, Chongtham Sanjoy, Assistant Secretary, Ningombam Ongbi Ranibala Lema, Washington, Roshan Moirangthem, Dr. Maibam Etin Maithe, Ingoba Nong Maithem, and music director Bisho Janambam also took part in the visit. The Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur, COSEM, has advised all the principals of higher secondary schools of the state to promote class 11 students who are in possession of admit cards issued by the council to class 12 with immediate effect. The notification came after a resolution was passed by the council during an examination committee meeting held today. The notification also informed principals or heads of institutions to submit the prepared tabulation sheets of students of their respective institutions on or before July 31st along with attendance sheets without fail. All Manipur United Clubs organization AMUKO, in collaboration with various local clubs, continues to distribute relief materials to people who are facing hardship due to the prolonged curfew and containment zone restrictions. AMUKO, along with all Manipur Women's Voluntary Association, AMAWOVA, and United Clubs organization Bishnapur District, UCOBID, distributed relief items to 191 families of different 
villages of Bishnupur district. They distributed materials to 47 families of Saiton, 36 families of Wangu and Kumbi, 90 families of Thanga, Karang, Kaibul Lamjau, Narasena and Sunusifai, and 18 families of Kwakta. So far, Amuko has provided relief materials to 4,477 households. The organization expressed gratitude to all those people who extended help to them. Manipur the soup of the second webinar. The king of the Buddhagi. Awaba Kang of the Miam Zimanunda, Karehena. Waraba Imunsi Kumbuliriga. Amukona Masiga Wakulon Manaba, Lukia Kulaga. Oyadumba, Awana, Kangiba, Imunsi Mugi. Like Matin Kerbo in the Tinjaki, Polum Matin Pang Pasi. Quay Imun, Missing Tara, the Pandam, Murga Quay, Pasi Satan of Japan. ဒီပေါက်တာမှာမှာတောင်းတောင်းမှာမလူပြာကိုပြုလက်ကစဉ်ဇာကိုပေါလုံးပြီးလေးစီဒီစင်မငါအစ်လက်ကတော့တယ်
Major Mangang, along with officials of PWD and volunteers of EOYOK Kangabok, had inspected the renovation work of Road of Kangabok. He, along with Pradhan nominee Ningtojam Lakpa Singh and volunteers of Seven Star Youth Club SYC Kangabok Sorok Wangma, has started repairing of the road that passes through Kangabok Mamang Bazar to Hayal Labuk and Wangbal. Minjor said he urged Chief Minister N. Biren Singh and Minister of Works T.H. Biswajit to have the road to Hayal Labuk repaired as people of the area were facing difficulties during monsoon. He thanked the state government along with PWD officials and volunteers of EOYOK Kangabok for taking up the repairing work. Even as the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic has engulfed the entire country, including Manipur, and fear of third wave of the pandemic looming large, Deputy Commissioner of Imphal East District, K.H. Diana, appeals to the people through Mummy TV to get vaccinated and take utmost care to protect themselves from COVID-19. COVID-19 Standard operating procedure and do not see a masoom face marks of see crowding crowded place like a goody a duga to in a quick kutsa ham see a duga kutsa ham by a dragon hand sanitizers in a view a masoom when a me amaga me amaga six feet distance lapna lay view crowded place like a goody a masoom atom china vaccine katu for you. And now it's time for a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates. LX Sublimation. Pauna Bazaar Infal, JMG Shopping Complex, Pass Floor. Muffa Masida, Mug Printing, Cover Printing, T-Shirt, Keychain, Photo Frame, Sublimation Ki Pot Kuding Mug, Wholesale Da Fang Bigani. Items available are mug printing, cover printing, t-shirt, keychain, photo frame. All the mentioned items will be available at wholesale rate in LX Sublimation. Break. A day after two explosive-laden drones crashed into the Indian Air Force IAF station at Jammu Airport, coinciding with the visit of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh to the Union Territory, India raised concerns of the use of weaponized drones for terrorist activities allegedly by Pakistan. The possibility of the use of weaponized drones for terrorist activities against strategic and commercial assets calls for serious attention by the member states, India told the UN General Assembly. Special Secretary, Internal Security, VSK Kaumudi, at the Ministry of Home Affairs, said that misuse of ICT, such as internet and social media for terrorist propaganda, radicalization and recruitment of cadre, misuse of new payment methods and crowdfunding platforms for financing of terrorism and misuse of emerging technologies for terrorist purposes have emerged as the most serious threats of terrorism and will decide the counter-terrorism paradigm going forward. Delhi Chief Minister and Ahmadmi Party National Convener Arvind Kejriwal confirmed that he will visit the pole-bound state of Punjab today. Taking to his official Twitter handle, Kejriwal said that Punjab is getting ready for a new dawn and so he is to reach Punjab in few hours. The Delhi Chief Minister is expected to meet party leaders and workers in Punjab and discuss the next course of action for the upcoming Punjab Assembly elections 2022. He is also likely to make an announcement about providing free electricity if his party comes to power in Punjab following the 2022 Assembly elections. The Ahmadmi Party has planned to hold the press conference at Punjab Bhavan here. Kejriwal's visit to Punjab has come a day after the Ahmadmi Party accused the Congress-led government in the state of denying its national convener, Arvind Kejriwal, permission to hold a press conference in the state, a charge denied by the Chief Minister Amarinder Singh. 
The 2022 Punjab Assembly elections are expected to be held in February-March 2022 to elect 117 members. The Union Home Ministry handed over the probe of the Jammu Indian Air Force IAF station drone attack to the National Investigation Agency, NIA. The probe will involve investigating the cross-border links to the attack that took place over the weekend. Meanwhile, a special bomb squad team of the National Security Guard, NSG, is investigating the nature of the blast at Jammu Air Force Station. According to sources cited by the news agency, RDX or TNT may have been used in the blast. Drones were controlled from across the border, involvement of local handler also being investigated, officials said. A team of anti-terror unit special cell of Delhi police also has also left for Jammu. In a first-of-its-kind strike, drones dropped two bombs at IAF station here, causing minor injuries to two personnel. The NIA and other probe agencies rushed to the spot immediately after the incident. An FIR was registered in the case under the Stringent Unlawful Activities Prevention Act UAPA, at the Satwari police station. Social media giant Facebook said that it will publish an interim report on 2nd July as mandated by the IT rules and provide information on the number of content it removed proactively between 15th May and June 15th. The final report will be published on 15th July containing details of user complaints received and action taken. The new IT rules, which came into force from 22nd May, mandate large social media companies to publish periodic compliance reports every month mentioning the details of complaints received and action taken thereon. The report is to also include the number of specific communication links or parts of information that the intermediary has removed or disabled access to in pursuance of any proactive monitoring conducted by using automated tools. And now before we wrap up, the top news headlines once again. India reports 37,566 new COVID-19 infections, 907 deaths in last 24 hours. LMG Manipur continues its magnanimous service, extends financial help, relief items to family of tractor mishap victim. COSIM advises all principals of high secondary schools to promote class 11 students. And that's all for the primetime English news. Thank you for watching.